Hey, what's up guys, Winston here, and today we'll be taking a quick look at the ASRock Phantom Gaming Z890 Nova Wi-Fi motherboard. Most gaming motherboards are designed to offer the best price performance ratio, and in order to save costs, most will lack enthusiast features, which a lot of gamers don't need. However, there are those who want the best of both worlds, great aesthetics, lots of enthusiast features, and plenty of expansion and connectivity. So to satisfy the demands of these gaming enthusiasts, ASRock have launched the Phantom Gaming Z890 Nova Wi-Fi motherboard. This motherboard is virtually identical to ASRock's flagship Z890 Tai Chi, and utilizes the Intel's latest Z890 chipset, supporting all the Intel Core Ultra processors on the LG1851 socket, it uses an 8 layer 2 times copper PCB and features a powerful 20 plus power face design with 110 amps SPS and 20k capacitors for superb power delivery and uh, stability. For cooling, you get the same composite VRM heatsink with heat pipe as found on the ASRock Z890 Tai Chi, which provides maximum heat dissipation. For expansion slots, you get one PCI 5x16 slot and one PCI 4x16 slot. You also get four DDR5 DIMM slots supporting both Intel XMP and AMD Expo memory modules with speeds of up to DDR5 9600 plus. For storage, you get four SATA ports and five Hyper M.2 PCI Gen 4 slots as well as one Blazing M.2 PCI Gen 5 slot. Additionally, ASRock have included a PCIe M.2 expansion card allowing you to install up to four M.2 PCIe SSDs. The motherboard includes a unique M.2 heatsink with a toolless design and a quick release notch for easy installation of SSDs. And what's more, you also get the graphics card easy release feature, which allows you to install and remove your GPUs with ease. The Z890 Nova Wi-Fi also includes similar features as found on the Z890 Tai Chi. These include the 7.1 HD Nahimic audio, a total of 19 USB ports, 10 at the rear and 9 at the front. You also get Wi-Fi 7 and ASRock's Polychrome RGB. And lastly, you get two Thunderbolt 4 ports and a 2.5 gig LAN as well as a 5 gig LAN for super fast connectivity. We'll be testing this motherboard using an Intel Core Ultra 9 285K with 48GB of DDR5 8800 RAM from Kingston. We'll also be using a GeForce RTX 4080 Super to see how the whole system performs. So let's not waste any time, put this into our test rig and uh, before we do that, let's do a quick unboxing and uh, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, let's do a quick unboxing of the ASRock Phantom Gaming Z890 Nova Wi-Fi motherboard. This motherboard supports all the latest Intel Core Ultra processors and supports DDR5 memory. Uh, it comes with Polychrome Sync, Wi-Fi 7 and Thunderbolt ports. Alright, let's take a look inside. Okay. In this box, we have the uh, Wi-Fi 7 Tenny. Let's see what else is inside the box. Right, we have three of the thermal probes. We have the uh, three pin RGB splitter cable. We have a Lazrock keycap. Nice Phantom Gaming badge. We've got uh, a set of M.2 screws for your SSDs. We have a notice here for your memory OC shield. A quick installation guide and some regulatory notices. We have a pair of SATA cables. All right. We have the uh, PCIe M.2 expansion card and this allows you to add an additional one two three four m.2 ssds for storage all right let's take a look at the motherboard itself all right here we have the asrock z890 nova wi-fi motherboard it comes with some very nice large heat sinks for your vrms and mosfets it also includes the heat pipe for extra cooling as well and here we have the socket LGA 1851, supporting all of the latest Intel Core Ultra processors from Intel. We also have some nice large heat sinks for your M.2 SSDs, the PCI Gen 5 here, and also a 
large heat shield there for your M.2 PCI Gen 4 SSDs. We've got a nice phantom gaming design here for your I.O. hood. And this lights up with some RGB as well. All right, let's take a look at the back of the motherboard. Here we have a nice large back plate here, which gives the extra cooling and also gives the board some rigidity. All right. All right, we'll start at the top here. We have uh, two of the PCI 8-pin power connectors for your motherboard. And we have one, two, three, uh, four-pin fan headers. We have two of the uh, three-pin ARGB. Uh, we have a power on and reset button, a diagnostic LED, a 24-pin ATX power connector here, USB type E. We also have a USB header, one here and one here. Uh, we have four SATA ports. And along the bottom here, we have your pinouts for your uh, power on, reset buttons, and so on. We have extra one, two, three, four fan headers, four pin fan headers. And these are the headers for your temperature probes, a TPM header, and two USB headers here. We have a Thunderbolt header, a three pin and a four pin ARGB and the audio connectors uh, header here. All right, for expansion slots, we have one of the PCI 5 times 16 slot and one PCI 4 times 16 slot. This motherboard comes with the quick release and toolless M.2 heatsink, which is quite easy to uh, use. You just unlatch the notch here and this whole heatsink comes off and you just line it up and you just lock it in place with a click. Same goes with the uh, heat shield for your M.2 uh, PCI Gen 4. You just unlatch here and this whole heatsink comes off and you've got support for one, two, three, four, five M.2 uh, PCI Gen 4 SSDs. Again, very easy to put back. You just line it up and uh, slot it in place with a click. All right. We also have the graphics card easy release latch here, which allows you to uh, easily mount and install your graphics card. We have four DDR5 DIMM slots supporting both XMP and AMD Expo memory modules with speeds of up to DDR5 9600 plus. Okay, let's take a look at the I.O. We'll start off here. We have the connectors for your Wi-Fi 7 antenna, and then we have HDMI, two USB 3, and two Thunderbolt ports here, Thunderbolt 4. We have the BIOS flashback and the clear CMOS. We have a 2.5 gigabit LAN, a 5 gigabit LAN, the uh, Ultra USB power, the Lightning game ports, we've got two USB 2s and two USB 3.2. Audio connectors include a line out, mic in, and SP diff. Okay, this motherboard is very similar to the ASRock Z890 Tai Chi, which we reviewed and has a lot of enthusiast features and it's perfect for gamers and system builders alike. We'll be testing this motherboard using an Intel Core Ultra 9 285K along with some nice DDR5 8800 RAM. We'll also be using a GeForce RTX 4080 Super to see how the whole system performs. Alright, so this was a quick unboxing of the ASRock Z890 Nova Wi-Fi motherboard. The ASRock Phantom Gaming Z890 Nova Wi-Fi motherboard offers mostly the same enthusiast features as found on the ASRock flagship Z890 Tai Chi, but this time it includes the onboard RGB lighting and a slightly better aesthetic. One thing to note is that the Z890 Nova Wi-Fi is their top-end model in the Phantom Gaming series. The other models, such as the Riptide and Lightning, offers less enthusiast features and hence they're much more affordable.
During our tests, we used the Intel Core Ultra 9 285K, which I have to say is pretty dull and exciting. However, we managed to get some reasonable scores, including a Cinebench 2024 score of 2,479 points for multi-core and 144 points for single core. For PC Mark 10, we got a fair score of 9,009 and a score of 17,603 for Pass Mark 11. For Procyon Video Editing Benchmark, we got a score of 10,632 and a score of 238 for the AI Computer Vision Benchmark. For 3D Mark Steel Nomad and Speedway, we got decent scores of 6,648 and 7,504 respectively. And finally for Port Royal and Town Spy, we got an adequate score of 18,511 and 26,915 respectively. With performance aside, what makes the Z890 Nova Wi-Fi really attractive is the wealth of enthusiast features. If this ain't the best Z890 gaming motherboard on the market right now, then I don't know what is. The ASRock Phantom Gaming Z890 Nova Wi-Fi combines all the enthusiast features you could possibly want in a gaming motherboard that not only gives you great aesthetics, but also offers performance to match. You can check out the full review on our website at funkygit.com. Alright, there you have it. That was a quick look at the ASRock Z890 Nova Wi-Fi motherboard. It's a fantastic gaming motherboard that's rich in enthusiast features and supports all of the latest Core Ultra processors on the LGA 1851 socket. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like and then leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy this by the links in the description. And of course, visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Oh yeah, don't forget, hit the subscribe button for more. Until next time, this is Winston for FunkyKid.com.